Hello, and welcome to the Project Finance Modeling course. In today's lesson, we will continue modeling the construction debt drawdown under equity first method. So, in the last lesson, we stopped when we reached construction debt scenario setup. In order to set up the scenario selection, let's link the construction debt drawdown scenario switch from the summary sheet. Let's now bring the construction debt pro rata drawdown here. Let's now bring the construction debt equity first drawdown over here. And we will use index function to select the construction debt scenario. So, index for array, select the construction debt pro rata and equity first. Then, for row number, select the scenario switch, anchor it. So, the switch will take the value of one or two, dependent on which debt drawdown scenario we want to run our model. One is for our original scenario, which is pro rata, and two is for equity first. Now, let's model the scenario selection for equity investment. We will need to bring the equity investment under pro rata and equity first scenarios over here. Again, we will use index function to select the equity investment scenario. So, index for array, select the equity investment pro rata and equity investment equity first. Then, for row number, select the scenario switch, anchor it. So, we have completed modeling our scenario selection for construction debt and equity investment. Let's try to change the value of the scenario switch from two to one for debt drawdown. We can see that our debt drawdown profile changes, so we have set up our scenario selection correctly. Now we have to fix the links within our construction funding sheet so the equity first debt drawdown scenario works properly. First, let's move our construction debt conversion and balance calculations close to debt drawdown calculations. Let's make some space under debt drawdown calculations. And let's bring construction debt conversion and balance calculations over here. Let's replace the construction debt pro rata with construction debt drawdown link. Let's now replace equity investment pro rata in equity conversion, discounted equity investment, and equity investment for XIRR calculation blocks with equity investment that is coming out of our scenario calculations.
We will also have to replace the debt drawdown and equity investment in sources and uses of funds. Our sources and uses of funds check is equal to zero, so it looks like we have linked everything correctly. Let's stop our lesson here and continue in the next lesson. In the next lesson, we will incorporate our new debt drawdown scenario into Global Optimized Macro.